Welcome back to the channel. It's Totally Cody here back with another TV show reaction and today we're going to be doing part five of season two for Young Sheldon and I gotta say I want to bring attention to the fact that I have a new couch. <laughs> I just do because it's funny because my dog has hijacked it. If you don't see him in the back here it's Aries you know over there. Yeah right there just laying down. <laughs> He's amazing. I love him and he took over my new couch. <laughs> so yeah he took over my new couch but I'm excited to continue Young Sheldon. I really am. It's been a little while since we've done it, but you know what? I was catching up on a lot of different things lately. Um, might go into depth with that later. But I hope you guys enjoy this reaction. If you'd like to watch my full length reaction to Young Sheldon on my Patreon, go ahead and check for the link down in the description of this video, okay? Thank you guys so much for joining me. And now it's time to sit back, relax, and watch TV show together. Let's go ahead and continue Young Sheldon. There are certain phrases that are used by dads around the world. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Well, decide what you want, then open it. But I need the visual input. Does the pudding have a skin? Plus, it's good fun jiggling the jello. Oh my god. Do you have god. any idea what our electric bill is? Yes, I do our taxes. And it's <laughs> higher than it should be. And why do you think that is? Probably well, because of this. I fingers, but Missy sleeps with a nightlight. There's only one logical way to settle this. Eeny. Close the door. <laughs> oh God, we're still barking up that tree. I don't know. Hey, what do you want? I just wanted <laughs> to apologize again. My behavior was crazy. I blame hormones. I forgive you. You're not just saying it because you're trying to be a good Christian and you're afraid of going to hell. Do you want me to forgive you or not? <laughs> That's Very a yes. Much. Then stop talking and let's move on. I can't. My boyfriend's taking me to dinner. Boyfriend. Oh, Boyfriend. wow. <laughs> That's a Bob yeah, show. I gotta run. I'm glad we're friends again. Your brother looks upset. Really? I would have guessed hungry. Well, there's fossil fuels, like oil and coal. Too dirty. Oh. Hydro. Too wet. Solar. With this fair skin? Next. Wind? You know what the problem with wind is. It's too God. reliant on wind. Is there anything that you can do at all? I think I'm looking for something a little more indoors. How about nuclear power? It's clean and efficient and very safe. Don't Until do that. something goes horribly wrong. Literally. I have one last question about nuclear reactors. What? How do I build one? Go. Spoiler alert. <laughs> He's gonna break he this teacher. Know. Hello? Hello, my little vicunia. Cutest camelid on the planet. Well, I suppose I could ask you what a camelid is, but you're just going to say more words that I don't know. What's up? There's yeah, we're just going to save it. We're going to save that. And I'd like you to be my plus one this Friday night. Oh, what time? I'm not sure. Well, will there be food? <laughs> I have no idea. What's the dress code? Not a clue. Well, what do you know? You're my plus one. That's all he knows. You go do a little more research and get back to me. You got it. Love you. Love you too. <laughs> that was cute. I'm not going to lie. That was probably the cutest I love you have ever heard. Hello. Is this the studio that makes the Professor Proton show? My name is Sheldon Cooper and I'm trying to build a nuclear reactor and I could use his help. My number is 409-356-6049. Not a good idea. Thank you. Don't tell I'm people hang that. I'm up now because this is long distance and my father doesn't make much money. Goodbye. Oh my god, don't just drag your dad too on top of it. The event begins at 6 p.m. The dress code is business attire. Dinner will be served, but it's been suggested that we eat first because the food is dreadful. Good oh my god. Last but not <laughs> Who least, said that? And I'm excited to show you off. The general consensus among the faculty is you don't exist. Oh my god. How do I feel about that? That's horrible. Don't worry, it says more about me than it does about you. It says a lot about you. That you can't get a woman. I'll get it. Oh, hello, Sheldon. Good evening. Do you have any idea where I could obtain radioactive material? That's an interesting question. What do you need it for? I'm trying to build a small nuclear reactor to provide electricity for my house and possibly the whole neighborhood. If yeah, not a good idea. Don't do Fun. it. What about an x-ray machine? Nope. That makes sense. You're just a kid. Oh, I know. Smoke detectors contain trace amounts of americium-241. 
interesting. Oh boy. But I'd need a lot of them, and they're expensive. True. I bet if you call a few companies and say it's for a school project, you could get them for free. That's a great idea. This guy idea. is not Thanks. giving him good advice. Don't You're do very this. very welcome. Who was that at the door? Sheldon. What do you want? Oh, nothing. He just had a science query. Ooh, biscuits. <laughs> John's adorable. Where's Georgie? I don't know. I called him 10 minutes ago. Why do you say that? It's just what I'm hearing. From who? I'm kind of plugged into this town. I'll go check on them. You gotta give her. You gotta give the girl credit. She's young Where's and she's popular. Where's getting all this info? Yeah. There's a lot of kids sisters out there. We talk. You might feel better if you do. Is it about a girl? How do you know? Sometimes a mother can sense these things. Yeah. Okay. Let's go Veronica with that. Has a boyfriend. <laughs> you mean Dustin? You know him? I just can't stop thinking about her with another guy. It's making me crazy. Oh, why don't you come eat something? You'll feel better. Can't. I feel like I got punched in the stomach. I get that feeling. Trust me. Trust I understand. Me. This'll pass. I mean, mine's with guys instead of girls, but you, you know. You will meet other girls. Yeah, you're not Maybe a... Veronica. Mrs. Park's credit card got declined at Payless. No kidding. She went nuts. Not George getting the scoop. <laughs> Baby is just crushed. Oh, man. I've been through that. Brutal. When did I break your heart? Oh, on you. But who? Probably somebody Dad, you never knew. I don't knew. want to get ahead of myself, but I think I solved our electricity problem. Not now, Sheldon. I wouldn't mind <laughs> <her>. <laughs> who? Oh, God. If you want, I'll ask around. For many children, their happiest memory is the day they learned to ride a bike. For me, it was the day I received a box of 57 defective smoke detectors loaded with americium 241. My God! Yes! <laughs> My dearest Veronica. This kid's gonna blow up the house. My beloved Veronica. <laughs> no. It's like there's a hole in my heart that only your love can fill. So true. It's not and gonna yes, end I know well for Dustin, you. But he can't love you the way I do. Because my love is the kind of love that is true love. Beautiful. Okay, so we're using a lot of so love, in but okay. I hope, no, I pray. I hope and pray that you'll give me the chance to be the boyfriend you deserve. And when the time is right, I'm able to shower you with diamonds, houses, boats, and cars. Georgie, Open I feel like you're going to meet somebody else. Like, heart, this this isn't soul, your first. Georgie Cooper. First loves are hard, but this is not the Just one you're going to end up with. Just tell me your name, and I'll drop it forever. You swear? You know oh, I don't God. swear. It's going to be you somebody promise? she knows. Absolutely. Catherine Dempsey. Catherine Dempsey? You watched me make cupcakes for her daughter's birthday. There you go. You told me you were in love with her? I was 15 years old, and she didn't love me back. If she did, would you have married her instead of me? But she didn't. Okay. Catherine Dempsey. Oh, God. I was 15. <laughs> That's the kind of arguments me and my boyfriend get into on some real life stuff. Why are you eating cereal for dinner? I was hungry. And my parents are in their bedroom kissing. I think they're doing more than that. <laughs> the music that's going along with it is great. What's this, a love note? Hey, give that oh, oh, no. I don't think so. To my beloved Veronica. Oh, Every no. Every minute I'm away from you is an eternity. Is but that it Dustin? Feels longer than that. Oh, this is why you pull her to the side, buddy, to do this. Or just don't do it at all. I warned you. No, I'm very nervous. It's interesting. Normally I'm the one who's unsure of himself in a social situation, but tonight it's you. Yeah, freaking fascinating. Dr. Sturgis, good to see you. Dr. I, I'm not going to lie. I thought that was Please Gary Busey if he cleaned himself up. <laughs> you got it, girlfriend. Dr. Linkletter is working on an intriguing theory of quantum gravity. Why do I feel like sound? I've heard that he name before, Linkletter? Than I can. Are you familiar at all with string theory? No. Every force is an exchange of particles. Gravity is the exchange of graviton. Not her actually unlocking Mila, memories of this. <laughs> what? The graviton is a mass of string. Wow. Well, yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> when did you learn that? From Sheldon. I get around. 
In fact, I would go so far as to say that every force is an exchange of particles and gravity is an exchange of gravitons. Correct. Oh God. Yes. She was dynamite. <laughs> oh, God. I can see a problem already. Hello. I'd like to speak to Arthur Jeffries. He plays <laughs> Professor Proton. But you probably know that since you answer the phone at the station that makes the show, you lucky duck. <laughs> yes, Americium 241. I have lots of it. I live at 5501 Grant Avenue, no. Texas. If you're sending me an autographed picture, I already They're gonna one. call the cops. Ooh, how about one of his bow ties? Not and a day, not a good day. read the letter out loud in the hall. Also, my math teacher's pregnant. Oh That's boy. Nice. It might not be her husband's. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Messy with all the info. Where are you going? Hey. Hey. Going somewhere? Look, Georgie. I know it feels bad right now, but I promise it'll get better. How's it gonna get better? Veronica thinks I'm a jerk, and everyone in the school is calling me Lovey Cooper. Ooh, that is not a good name. It it's doesn't matter. Kind of funny. I'm never I'm going back lie. to that school. Once we get you on a daily shower schedule, the girls are gonna be lining up. I don't want girls. I want Veronica. Yeah, maybe you'll get her, and maybe you won't. But someday, you'll find a woman who is really meant for you. You mean like Catherine Dempsey? <laughs> How about I go? Who's Catherine Dempsey? God. <laughs> Mary, Mary's just not letting it go. That's great. <laughs> Took my first bath in a ten-gallon hat. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. That's wonderful. My goodness, you're as funny as you are beautiful. Okay, uh, no, can, don't do that's that. That's a nice thing to say to your friend's girlfriend. Actually, I don't think it is so nice. Oh, look. Shrimp cocktail. Let's get some. Oh, hang on. Hey, take your hand off her. Or Literally, what are you doing? Severe consequences. Whoa, John, calm down. What do you see in this guy? All right, that's it. Yes. Oh, God, that was a that was a nasty push. Oh, that's enough. Both of you, just cool your jets. Are you angry with me? We're turned on. Oh, great. <laughs> let's go. Oh, God. Good morning, Mary. The hell? Sheldon Cooper live here? Oh, my God. Mary? Am I in trouble? Yep. A lot. Oh, boy. Dinosaurs. A fossil is formed when an organism, preserved in sediment, undergoes physical compression over millions of years. I will. I really will. Because you know what's going to happen if you don't. Well, that wasn't very Christian of you. Who was that? No one. Why did he push you? None of your business. But the student code of conduct. Drop Sheldon, it. stop. I know you're trying to help, but stop. So I did drop it for six whole minutes. Excuse me, sir. <laughs> no, not you standing you behind him like that. I'd like to ask you some questions about social dynamics, intimidation, threats, etc. What is your problem? Oh, I don't have a problem. You should probably wash your hands. I just witnessed an altercation between you and Georgie Cooper. Altercation? I heard about you. You're that smart kid. I'd like to be humble in this moment, but yes, that's me. Sheldon Cooper, <laughs> at your service. So, Georgie's your brother? Correct. And you're trying to protect him? This Incorrect. is gonna be bad. Your brother's a punk. I'm not familiar with that terminology. He tried to hit on my girlfriend. That's him. Interesting. So, he openly pursued your mate, and to reassert dominance, you threatened him with physical violence. Hell yeah, I did. I understand that. Missy Cooper. Oh, boy. Oh my god. Just a heads up, this is my good side. Oh, that's a okay. lot of makeup. Do your parents know you're wearing that makeup? Oh yeah, my mom knows. Are you sure? She, she doesn't because know you're wearing that it's much. Not allowed. If you don't believe me, you can ask her. We're going to give her a call. Yeah, yeah, you're in trouble. You're in trouble. Good news. I just spoke to Tommy Clarkson. What? Are you crazy? Nope, mom had me tested. Uh, hey, Tommy. Wait, that's How not Veronica's doing? boyfriend, though. Dustin is his you name. You got a problem with him? You got a problem with me. Oh, no, we and got a problem. just to make his logic clear, you do have a problem with me. 
Don't listen to my brother. I don't have a problem with anybody. You need to apologize. I, I'm very sorry. Later, kid. See? He's nice. Sheldon. Oh my god, he made that ten times worse. You know you're not allowed to wear makeup. That's why I didn't tell you. And who gave it to you? Heather B? Heather M? Mima. So wow. your grandmother was okay with you. I actually like should have saw that coming because that looks like You're her. Don't me. Ask her. Oh, I'm going to. Really? What are you watching? Go away. Are you angry with me? I don't want to see your face right now. Very well. But I'd like to watch Professor Proton. Did you hear me? Go away. Well, did you hear me? I'd like to watch Professor Proton. Oh no, Too Sheldon's bad. entering his supervillain era. Interesting. I guess I'll just have to call him. What You're the kidding. hell? <laughs> Why is Sheldon like this? Are you going to put on Professor Proton? No. Sheldon, this is evil. This isn't nice okay, at all. Okay. Thank you. I didn't hear your welcome. Uh, we'll work on that. <laughs> This is horrible. You can't do no, that. No, I didn't give her any makeup. Well, then one of you is lying. She, she is. is. <laughs> Time to come clean the lady. Oh, I take a hit on this one. The grandmother. <laughs> I took the makeup from my mouth bag. Oh. oh, Missy, you are in a world of trouble. Calm down. It's not that big a deal. She's going to do way stupider stuff when she's older. Probably. Guaranteed. <laughs> I don't care. She is my daughter and you will be punished. Sorry, you gotta kid. teach it early. You can't I steal. I wish I was your daughter. Wow. Is that so? Oh boy. You're sleeping here tonight because I don't feel like being around either one of you. Oh boy. Great. Yeah. <laughs> Great. <laughs> me, Ma should have just taken the hit on that one. <laughs> it backfired on her. Are you sure you want to speak to me in that tone of voice? Sheldon, I'm getting real tired of this. That's too bad. I'm enjoying it quite a bit. My God, Sheldon. Still waiting on that yoo-hoo. You think you're so tough now? I swear one day... Hey, I'm... what's going on? Sheldon's being a jerk. He's leaving out the part where he... <clears throat> now, that's okay. not okay. Tell the dad. Right. Tell your dad. Right. Georgie, at the risk of repeating myself... I'm starting to get why they didn't like him in Big Bang Theory. So when exactly did you swipe my makeup? While you were at Bone League. You don't have a key to this house. How'd you get in? Can't tell you that. I might need to do it again. See? How come you're so cool and she's such a dud? Well, I wouldn't call her a dud. What would you call her? Point is, she wasn't always like that. What was she like? When she was a teenager, she was just wild. Really? Oh, yeah. She used to wait until I went to sleep, and then she would sneak out and get into trouble with her friends. My mom. Is that how you're getting in? I will never tell you that. <laughs> Probably how she's getting in. <laughs> oh, God, that's angry. Don't do that. Your cooking's going to come out bad. I'm getting tired of being the bad guy around here. You're not the bad guy. Kids need boundaries. That is easy for you to say. I am the only one doing it, and then everyone resents me for it. I, really? What was going on? They, you know, boy stuff. <laughs> George doesn't even know. Don't worry. I got your back. My God. Thank you. That means a lot. Teamwork, babe. That's my mom? <laughs> yep. The little queen of darkness. She's smoking a cigarette? Yep. Probably stole it from me. I think things started to turn around for her when she gave birth to you. Oh, boy. You mean me and Sheldon? No, I mean you. I mean, Sheldon was born fine, but you were a different story. Why? Okay. I thought they were twins. Well, oh, wait, they were born different. That she would start reading the Bible, going to church. Oh. You know, that kind of stuff. So I'm the reason she's a dud? Your takeaway <laughs> should be that you are the reason she's such a good mom, which she is. And the next time you hurt her feelings, which you will, you might remember 
how much you mean to him. News of my friendship with Tommy had apparently spread. So much so, the student body was finally treating me with the respect I deserve. Or like fear. Even when Tommy wasn't around. This must be how Carl Sagan felt walking through the halls of PBS. Thanks to Tommy, I was invincible. All right, get your butts out to the gym. Wind sprints in one minute. That was really loud. My God. Excuse me. I'd like to ask you some questions about your use of intimidation to dominate others. Not you Sheldon having no fear. Your ass kick? No. I was just looking to open a spirited dialogue. I have some unfortunate. Oh, I thought he had a black What's eye. That? I boasted to Jason Davies that you're my friend, and things took an unexpected turn. You're scheduled to fight him at 3 p.m. on the basketball court. Oh my god! He was pretty adamant. <laughs> what the hell? Fine. I'll deal with it. You do have the option of simply not showing up. That's not how fights work, Sheldon. Why? I dropped her off at school and she hugged me in front of her friends. Really? And not just any friends. Heather M. was there. And that is a big deal. Oh god, not Heather M. Why do I feel like we need to find out who like this Heather what? M. is? You need to know, you're doing a fantastic job with those kids. You really are, though. You like, really you, mean that? You need to give yourself I credit. Really Thanks. I can't remember the last time someone said I was a good mom. You're not a bad mom. Nobody's ever said this. It's not a job that gets a lot of compliments. Oh, not the showdown. Come on, Jason, kick his ass. Oh boy. Where is he? Why are we doing this though? Stop! Like all over Sheldon? You're not fighting Tommy, you're fighting me. I also possess an air-based weapon. So I'll give you one more chance. Are you willing to step down? I'll tell you what. I don't know, if he hits me in the eye with that, shot. that might hurt. Then it's my turn. He's gonna hit him in the eye. Three. He's gonna hit him right in the eye. Two. One. <laughs> oh. Ow. Son of a bitch. <laughs> they left a red mark on him too. Oh boy. He's done. Yeah, no, that, that, that's why the story of David and Goliath, he hit him one time and he died. Bully, he does, that doesn't the work. The bully will inevitably back down and respect you for your courage. No. No. My experience suggests otherwise. This did not, however, prevent him from imprisoning me in his locker. Oh my God. That was a very long night. It doesn't smell good in here. Very Nobody long. knows where he was? It should come as no surprise that the very first grade I ever received was a super duper. <laughs> Granted, it was for counting spots on a ladybug, but still, I nailed it. Good job, Cooper. That's just sad, Cooper. <laughs> oh my God. In every Georgie. class, in every subject, I was perfect. Which is why this day hit me like a ton of bricks. Oh. Uh-oh. Hey, Moompa. Ready to go? Look at this. 95, that's terrific. No, if it was terrific, it would say 100 with the word terrific next to it. You didn't calculate using Maxwell's equations. Maxwell's equation, my sweet patootie. <laughs> like Willie Nelson? That would require knowing the probability of free space and natural units. I suppose I could... I like Willie He's Nelson. He's turning him up. She but turned him up. <laughs> Is he coming down with something? Yep. <coughs> <laughs> oh my, are you sick too? No, she just smoked Never better. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, hey, Barry. Oh my God. It was like a horror okay. show. Here? Well, you should at least go see a doctor. I can't. The Walker couple is coming in for counseling. If you rescheduled, I'm sure they'd understand. Hey, what if you did it? Oh God. Marriage counseling? Don't, don't you need some sort of training for that? Yeah. Nah, you just listen, uh, give them a couple prayers, send them on their way. 
Okay, if you really want me to. Yeah, but let's I disinfect do. this in office fact, first. <laughs> but only if you promise to go home and get some rails. Sure. Home, movie theater, food court, somewhere. Oh. Something tells me that wife is not good for him, and he's just hiding that. Today, we're going to work on interior angles of a convex polygon. I'm working on this math problem. I think you might be the first person in history who's ever cut class to do math. The irony wasn't lost on me. Oh, hey, 95. Good job. Really? <laughs> I'm here every day, and it's like you don't know me at all. Oh, okay. Um, oh, 95. That librarian just make it, making it through the day. Anything you could tell me about the walkers? Not really. Just a couple of newlyweds trying to figure it out. Well, marriage oh, is newlyweds. hard. newlyweds, okay. I'll never know. I just don't want to waste this on just one guy. Sorry we're late. Someone couldn't decide on a hat. Sorry. Oh, that's all right. Hi, I'm Mary Cooper. I'm going to be doing your session today. Oh, what happened to Pastor Jeff? He's out sick and asked me to fill in. Okay. But don't worry. Thing? You're in good hands. I've been married for 15 years, and whatever you're going through, I'm sure I've been through it several times. Francine, I dig your hat. <coughs> <laughs> And after you got married, all the picnics and wooing ended? No, no, not at all, no. In fact, Elliot's more doting than ever. So he then what's the problem? The are my favorite, so every week there's a fresh cut bouquet on my nightstand. I own the flower shop across from the post office. Well, you all seem hunky-dory. I'm confused. What's the issue? We're having trouble in the... Oh, in the bedroom. You know. The bedroom. Oh, okay. Oh. That's interesting. Show them what are you doing here? Who are you calling? Dr. Sturgis. It's a math emergency. Don't you think you should ask my permission first? It's ringing, yes or no. You know what? I don't care. <laughs> Hello? Dr. Sturgis, this is Sheldon. You're wrong, and I can prove it. Is oh, that no. so? Oh, God. It is so. Go ahead, Sheldon. I'm all ears. Well, when I'm done, you're going to be all tears. Okay, fellas, let's keep it simple. Why are we you so claim aggressive that the only way to calculate it. the magnetic field in QCD units is using Maxwell's equations. When examined closely, you realize that it's the square root of four times pi. Your point being? Rationalized and non-rationalized units differ by four times pi. Anyone with a basic knowledge of electric and magnetic fields would know that. I'm lost. Are we still being civil? It's all right, Connie. Sheldon's trying to justify his shortcut. Don't treat me like a child. Treat me like a colleague. But he's still wrong. Fine. This is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. How could you say that? <laughs> you told him to. What are you doing? Treating him like a colleague. Do you and your colleagues make each other run out of the room crying like that? Probably. Sometimes. <laughs> and then he said, for the rest of the day, you're in charge. <laughs> Those were his exact words. Can you believe it? You're in and charge. And what advice did you give and the newlyweds? Me, this year, United Methodist is going to get stuck with all the limp palms. They're having sexual problems. Really? Newlyweds? But we all prayed on it, and then the answer Which is a little bit surprising, but it's not uncommon. Yeah. The husband is under a lot of stress at work, and it's diminishing his natural desires. Huh. Right, which, okay, that's well, understandable. He's got so much stress. You've seen it. It's called the Pretty Petunia. Oh, okay, I'm putting huh. two and two together here. Yep, George, we're on the same mind wave. He might he might be a little, uh, yeah. He might be like me. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know. So I could be wrong. What's a math emergency? That's when things don't add up. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good dad joke. I'm not oh, going to lie. Come on, guys, that was a good one. Uh, I got you, George. That was good. Mm, excuse me. Pastor Jeff, oh no. Answer your question, Georgie. It's when a scientist is too immature to admit when he's wrong. My hackles are up. What's a hackle? Well, if he's <laughs> wrong, then teach him to be right instead of berating him like a big old jackass. That's oh, very God. hurtful. <laughs> he just running away. Oh my God. Why is he running like that? Well, how about that? It's open. Oh my god. Please tell me this is not going to be me in like 20 years. Hello? Mr. Guilford? Who are you? Hi, I'm oh, Mary I know this actor. From the church. Pastor Jeff is out sick, so he asked me to bring over your dinner. Maybe while you eat, we could chat a little. 
I'm old, I'm alone, I'm gonna die soon. There, we've chatted. Okay. Hey, he's got a priority straight. If you're not in the mood for a conversation, maybe there's something else I could do for you. I haven't had a sponge bath in a while. Oh, boy. Oh. Lights out. In a minute. I may not understand exactly what's going on with you and Dr. Sturgis, but you can't be rude to an adult. What if they're wrong? Doesn't matter. You gotta show them respect. I understand, sir. Thank yes. you for your incredibly wise advice. Okay, great. <laughs> okay. I'm pretty sure he's being sarcastic, but still. <laughs> okay, great. Did you just call Dad stupid without calling him stupid? Yes. <laughs> yep, exactly. <laughs> Maybe it's backfired. Maybe Missy learns her bad behavior from Sheldon. <laughs> Could I at least open a window, get you some fresh air? It's not necessary. I've got some right here. Oh, God. Mind I don't, I I don't want to be sit? like that when I get old. You're staying? Because God calls on us to serve our fellow man. Romans 12, 13. Share with the Lord's people who what are... What are you doing? <laughs> quoting scripture. Well, I don't want to hear that. You don't want to hear the Bible? Not from some woman. Oh. Excuse me? Wow. Where have you been? Women don't preach in our church. I'm sorry I called you jackass. <laughs> A big old jackass. <laughs> but it's okay. The way I'm he so ran was hilarious, though. Don't be too hard on yourself. I'm upset that he's right. Oh. Really? Is he actually? And you're just now saying something? Energy density... Rationalized and non-rationalized units? I can't believe I missed it. Well, like you said, everybody makes a mistake. The other night I had bingo for five moves, didn't even know it. <laughs> <laughs> That's actually drinking? great, because I've done the bingo, same thing. of course I was drinking. <laughs> Don't worry about it. We'll lose a step together. They really are good together. And how are you doing? Since when are you interested? My father told me I should be kind to old people. Well, you're not old, How but you know. How old do you think I am? My father also told me if a woman ever asks you that, it's a trap. Hmm. Smart man. <laughs> but I'll say 53. Wow. No, she's like, what, maybe 30? Feeling better? No. Then what are you doing here? Why aren't you home in bed? Because not everybody has a happy marriage, Barry, okay? Oh, my God. Sorry. How's everything going around here? Really well. I had a lovely session with the walkers. I think that they're going to be fruitful and multiplying soon. <laughs> yeah, well, you got to give him a pass, what with all he's been through. What's he been through? Mary, that man sitting all alone in that mess of a house is a genuine war hero. Oh. People like you and me will never understand what he went through. Yeah. I didn't know. Well, he sure won't talk about it. Would you mind if I went back over there and gave it another go? By all means, I gotta lay down. You gotta talk uh, hey, to war veterans a different calls, way. Tell her, you know what? Oh, she's not gonna call. Mr. Guilford, it's Mary Cooper again. He's dead. No. Mr. Guilford? No, he's dead. <gasps> Mr. Guilford! That sucks. <clears throat> you a relative? No. Friend? I was trying. Okay, well, sorry. May I come in? I guess. <laughs> I looked over your work again, and uh, the math was correct. You were right. And I was uh, wrong. Sorry, I doubted you. Wow. It must be really hard for you to admit that. Well, yes. But uh, I thought it could be a learning opportunity for you. What do you mean? Dr. Sturgis was a wise man. It was a learning opportunity. And when the day comes that I am wrong, I fully plan to admit it. <laughs> yeah, okay. Thank you, Pastor Jeff. <clears throat> As some of you might know, we lost a member of our congregation. James Guilford passed away earlier this week. He was married to his wife, Meredith, for over 45 years, 
He was a lieutenant in the Army and, forgive him for this, a big fan of the Dallas Cowboys. <laughs> and if there's anyone who's able to help me clean out his house, please let me know. Ooh, you know I love to tackle clutter. We'll do it. Oh, thank you. <laughs> All right, so it was part five of season two for young Sheldon, and I gotta say, the first episode of that and the last episode of that were my favorite ones, I think. Um, yeah, well, all three of them were good. I just think that the first and, uh, and last one were the, the most memorable ones, and, you know, it's 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 kind of like we're building more on characters very slowly but surely you know what i mean like we're learning more about sheldon what he was like as a kid but like we already know about sheldon so like i say this all the time like it's more about mary and georgie george and missy and Mima and dr sturgis now and like we're learning about what made sheldon who he was through basically the people that he interacted with and that's what I like the most about this show, that it's very insightful of the side characters and not fully about Sheldon and what he was like. You know what I mean? Um, so I'm excited to see where this season goes. We still have three more parts to go, six, seven, and eight, and then we are good to go for season three. But I gotta say this show has been a delight so far. So if you guys like to watch my full length reaction to Young Sheldon on my Patreon, go ahead and check for the link down in the description of this video, okay? Thank you guys so much for joining me, and I will see you all next time. Remember, everybody, stay totally terrific. Bye.